Right, just installed the uh, ESU Lock Pilot Basic 8 pin decoder and uploaded the settings for a cordless motor onto the chip and I've got it on speed stack 1 and it makes a huge difference from the last chip which was a lens digital plus I mean that is so smooth considering it's using the original drivetrain it makes it even smoother unbelievable that unlock uh, speed step 2 that is so smooth I'm just going to compare that now with the lens one Right, so this one's got the ESU decoder with the cordless motor settings. That's the Lens Standard Plus, which I thought worked quite well. But now I've put them side by side. I've just worked them both on the same address. You can see a difference there. Um... That's speed step three. And you can see the jerkiness. One's a bit jerkier and noisier, where the other one is ultra smooth. So it does make a difference. You can see how much slower and smoother the ESU model uh, loco is, which is that one. Yeah, so I'm glad I've. Uh, installed the newer decoders speed step one well I'll speed step three speed step one you can see a difference on that that's jerky and making a noise. That one, you can barely see it moving. Using the original drivetrain, I mean, that is just amazing. Really amazing, that. So, that's another interesting comparison. If you're into this sort of stuff. Right, so we're all done here now. So speed step. That speed step two. Both the decoders are on default settings on Lock Pilot five, and they're running perfectly in tandem so smooth a lot quieter you can't hear the gearing when they're running at the uh, low speed steps considering uh, it's running on really old the original uh, gearing from decades ago it's an old design big difference there Huge difference.
So anyway, that's another job fully complete, except for the cosmetic details on one of the locos. All done. I mean, these are so noisy. Really nice, now. Nice. 